to another video. Michelle Pearson here with a favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in so long. If you guys are brand new, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you guys like this video or these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up so I know what to do in the future. So I've been doing YouTube now for almost seven years and I've done like mommy and baby and kid favorites. But today I just want to focus on beauty favorites and just current beauty favorites because I have quite a few. And then I'll probably do like an end of month February favorites for mommy, baby, toddler, kid, all of that. So this is basically just mommy beauty favorites if that interests you. So I have quite a basket full as you can see. So a lot of these, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, which is Mish Pearson, I talk about them all the time on my Insta story, so it might not be new to you, but there's some new stuff that I've been trying out and I really, really like it. So um, let's get started first off. I am not a makeup artist, but I love makeup and I love experimenting with different kinds of makeup because I like to tell you guys about it so you don't necessarily have to spend all your money trying to figure out what's good. So if you guys haven't heard of Morphe, they are a cheaper, as in price uh, brand and they are now sold at Ulta. So I've heard so much about them over the years. A lot of YouTubers have like discount codes or whatever through them. But this is an eyeshadow palette that I found online and I just wanted something neutral. And oh gosh, it's the bronzed mocha palette in 25B. So this is what it looks like. Bronzed mocha. If that doesn't describe this perfectly, then I don't know what does. But I love the mattes in this. It's something that I just use all of the time, just in my crease. And there's some shimmers, but I usually just use all the mattes. This eyeshadow is such good quality, and it was so inexpensive for how many you get. So definitely check out Morphe if you guys haven't done that yet. Another Morphe item that I have been loving is this highlighter brush. I have not been able to find a great highlighter brush until this one. I found this online at Ulta. This is the M510. And basically, highlighter just perfectly fits on the brush. It's a perfect consistency, nice and soft. And I want to say it's like 7 or $8, so not expensive at all. They have so many brushes in their range, so definitely check that out. Another makeup brand that I have been loving is Shine Cosmetics. I've told you guys a lot about their mission and how they just want to empower women and everything that they have is like positive and everything like that. So two of the items I've been using that I have been loving, 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 loving. The first one is this BB cream. I'm very, very picky about BB creams. I wear this every single day. I am in the color Indestructible. It has SPF 15. I love the consistency and the way that it covers my skin but not too much and it is buildable so i like to mix it with a foundation on days that i need more coverage like today i went to church and i wanted more coverage but this is amazing and if you want to use the code michelle 10 you can get 10 percent off of your order but they have so many great lip products and i'm still kind of like figuring out my favorites and once i do i will do like an entire video for just shine cosmetics but this is amazing and then you pair it with their powder so this is their powder in indestructible as well so it's the same color but if you pack these two on together, which is what I always, always do, your makeup will stay on forever. And it just looks really natural and it just looks amazing. So I love the owners of this company as well. So I'd love to support. Continuing on, this is a foundation that I've heard so much about on YouTube. And so I wanted to check it out because it's so inexpensive. It is Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I am in the color Buff Bisque. And this is amazing. I don't like to have cakey face, but this is like super inexpensive. I know it's like under $10 for sure, but this is amazing foundation. It smells kind of strong at first, but I like to mix it in with like a BB cream. And then that's kind of like what I have right now, just to give me a little bit more coverage when I need it. If I'm going to an event, if I'm filming something, or if today I went to church, this is what I wear mixed with the BB cream. Then more face stuff. Uh, Trader Joe's has been coming out with a lot of skincare products and it's just amazing because it's so inexpensive. So sorry to people who don't Trader Joe's around them, but if you do, definitely you guys have to pick this stuff up. This is like my new favorite face skincare item. It's the Rose Facial Oil. And what you do basically is after you wash your face, you don't dry your face off. You leave it wet and then you put two little squirts of this on your face and holy cow your face just feels so moisturized it's unbelievable and it has a slight hint of rose scent not too much because i know some rose scents can be like overbearing but this stuff is amazing i love it and then another item item of their skincare is this hyaluronic moisture boost serum i've talked a lot about this i also put this on my skin and it just my face just feels so so it feels wet at first 
not sticky, but just moisturized, not dry and cracking. There's no dry patches on my face. So when I'm putting makeup on, and I don't even wear makeup that much anymore because I feel like my skin is getting taken care of by all these awesome products that I don't really even really feel like I need coverage. So those are amazing. Another Trader Joe's product that I loved, I picked this up uh, a week or two ago, but I've been using it every night. And you guys know I've been on the search for good hand cream. And this is the Trader Joe's Rose Oil Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. Once again, it has like a rose scent, but very, very faint. And it's not oily when you put it on your hands, but it's very moisturizing. And you just feel like your skin just seeps it all in and it just feels so good. So this is like something I put on right before I go to bed at night. It just makes me happy and the packaging is adorable. Next, another skincare item. I love SPFs and I know that you can get SPF at Target or something, but I always kind of spend a little bit more and I find a good SPF that I wear every single day no matter what because I want it to also not clog my pores because a lot of SPFs at like the grocery store or drugstore can clog my pores and make me break out. So that's why I spend a little bit more. But this is the Dr. Jart UV Sun Fluid and I just love the consistency of this. I love the packaging too. It's just like nice and sleek and thin. But I love Dr. Jart's BB cream. You guys know I love that. Um, this is a great SPF. It doesn't smell strong. It has this little, yeah, it doesn't smell strong at all, but I love that it's thin and just glides onto your face and it's just a great SPF. So if you're looking for one that doesn't break you out, this is a good one. Another one is this hair mask from Raw Sugar. It's their Healing Power Hair Mask. Avocado, banana oil, coconut milk, and honey. This brand is so great. No sulfates, parabens, silicones. And anytime you buy something from them, they donate something to somebody in need. But this mask, you guys, it smells amazing, but my hair has been so happy recently. Just silky and smooth. And I can tell you not every mask is created equal. They are not. So I'm really excited about all of these hair care products from Raw Sugar, and I got this at my local Target. Not every Target sells their stuff, but I'm seeing it more and more as I go to more Targets in my area that they are starting to carry this in store because it used to only be online. So if you can't find it in store, chances are you can find it online. Another hair item is this dry shampoo. I just got this at Target. It's the Batiste clean and light bear and the packaging is so cute. It's a great dry shampoo. It really is clean and light. It does a great job. It doesn't leave a white film on my hair, which is very hard because I have dark hair. So I don't want something that does that, but it comes with a ton and it's just a tried and true dry shampoo. You know what I mean? Like they're more expensive brands obviously, but if you need like a good, just standard one that you don't care about using a ton of, Batiste is where it's at. Finally, this is a product I've talked about so much on my channel, so this is nothing new, but I got back onto using it again and it just makes my skin happy. But this is the Garnier Micellar Water. It's the blue cap one. There's a pink one, I believe, but I don't like it as much as the blue cap because this one is the kind that I believe is like stronger because it removes waterproof mascara. Basically, when I wear a lot of makeup, when I'm filming like today, or if I went to an event, and I just want, all, even on normal days, I use like big, huge cotton pads from Target and I'll pour it on my hand and just wipe it off. And I usually use two of them if I'm wearing a ton of makeup and then I wash my face. And there is something about this that just, it doesn't just strip the makeup off. It actually moisturizes it, moisturizes it after as well. So you don't feel like your skin is stripped. Where sometimes when I use like the wipes, which they're quicker in a lot of ways, but I feel like my skin feels like dry afterwards, if that makes sense. But I feel like when I use this micellar water, it does not do that. And I am very picky about my micellar waters. I've tried a lot of different kinds and this is always just like my tried and true favorite. I actually had a travel size that I took to California and it just reminded me of why I liked it so much. I went, when I got home from California, I bought the huge one. <laughs> so that is it for my mommy beauty favorites. And I will be doing another like favorites video of like lifestyle stuff and kids stuff probably later this month, but I just had so many beauty products that I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. It's going to be a wonderful week. We're gonna work hard this week to be good, to exercise, be healthy. And yeah, I just feel really energized and I wanna share that with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and I have a lot of fun things happening in the next couple of weeks here that I'm excited to share with you guys and I'm excited to vlog. So stay tuned for that. Once again, subscribe if you haven't done that yet and comment down below and let me know what beauty products you guys have been loving and we will see you in my next video. Bye.